what's going on guys um today we're gonna go over my personal favorite weapons in battlefield 5 um and their specs because i feel like i've seen a lot of videos like this but to be honest i mean we're talking about some pretty shit weapons in some of those videos like i've seen one and it's like the agm 42 is my favorite i was like uh no it's really not that good so we're gonna go over what i think is actually good and um, I'll explain why. So, we'll start with the Assault class here, okay? Now, the Assault class is, I think, the most versatile class in the entire game. It, it's very rare that a weapon is a complete dog shit in this category here. Um, so, instead of going over every single weapon, I'm going to go over my distinct favorites and weapons to absolutely avoid at all costs. I'm going to start with weapons to absolutely avoid with all costs. Um, never use the carabin, ever. This weapon is terrible. Um, the G43 is just better than it, in my opinion. It's just a way better carabin. Um, and never use the Johnson. The Johnson shoots slow as shit, has no detachable magazine reload. You have to reload each bullet individually, and the damage model is nothing unique to warrant that type of extremely restrictive use. So, just never use the Johnson. It looks cool, but it, it's terrible. Never use it. Um, what I'm kind of on the fence on is the Moss, but the Moss is not bad. You can use it if you want to. Now, the, the stars of the show in the Assault class, I think, are Sturmgewehr. One of the best all-around weapons in the entire game. You can see my... I got mine decked out a little bit. You know, you don't have to... Uh, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Right? Anyway, um, there are two ways you can run this that are viable. I like full right side, but um, I know some very good players that actually run uh, right, left, left, right. That gives you kind of a close quarters beast, but I prefer less horizontal recoil and more accuracy while moving. Something to take account of in general for pretty much all weapons in this game if you can get light and stock, which is move 60% faster while aiming with your weapon, and custom stock, which is improved accuracy and aimed fire while moving, if you can get both of those at the same time, it's a no-brainer combination. It's extremely strong, and it just makes the weapon a lot better. Um, G43 and the Turner SMLE are my personal uh, favorites when it comes to um, uh, SARs. Uh, G43... Mid medium to long range beast super fast bullet velocity um i run right left 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 on this um the reason i don't take quick aim is because i'm not at a range where ads speed matters with this weapon in my opinion if you're close to somebody with a g43 you're already doing it wrong um so i take bullet velocity always go for detachable magazines on this weapon even though you can get light in stock detachable magazines will increase your uh, kill potential with this weapon tenfold um, and I take recoil buffer over barrel bedding because barrel bedding never, it doesn't do a single thing. Improved accuracy and aimed fire when stationary. Can you please tell me a single time when I'm stationary in this game? Zero. So never take that perk. Um, and then obviously the Turner SMLE, probably pound for pound, one of the most insane weapons in the entire game. Um, I actually run it. Uh, I run a one X on this gun. It's my personal favorite, but you can run a three X. Got it decked out in a little triple you know? I'm, it's looking pretty nice, right? Like, shit. Um, I run left, 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 right with this. Um, I, actually, I take light and stock over recoil buffer because the 1x kind of... It doesn't reduce recoil, but it reduces perceived recoil. Those are two different things. Um, so, yeah, this is my setup for the Turner. And then, lastly, um, honorable mention, Skiver 1.5. It used to be the most overpowered gun in the game. They nerfed it literally, uh, you know, four times. So, um, yeah, still really good. Uh, it got nerfed, though. M1 Garand, it's okay. Just use the G43, to be honest. And um, M1907 and M1A1 Carbine. Other honorable, men honorable mentions. I'll go over the specs of this. So, uh, you can use either... Uh, left, 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 right, or left, right, right, left. That is my personal favorite uh, combinations for there. Then 1907, as you can see, I actually found a glitched sight on this gun. Do you see there's the front post here where my mouse is, and there's no rear sight. 
And yes, it is like that in game. So if you like the BF1 iron sights, this is kind of like BF1, but not really the same. Um, in my opinion, there's only one way to run this weapon, a uh, full right side. You can try to run um, right, left, left, right, but I just think full right side is better. Um, yeah, STG, a lot of people think, oh, the STG is overpowered. Actually, the STG is probably one of the worst assault weapons, to be honest. It's not, like, and even it being the one of the worst assault weapons, in my opinion, does not make it bad. You can still farm with this thing, but the Sturm is just better, in my opinion. Uh, moving on to Medic. Medic's a different story. There are really clearly defined best weapons in here. Um, you can fuck around and, like, run hipfire specs in the Sten or the MP40. The Sten and the MP40, for those that don't know, are essentially the exact same weapons with very slight differences. Like, you won't... They're the same weapons, basically. Uh, the Sumomi, really good. I don't personally use this a lot because it doesn't have light and stock, which is moving 60% faster while in ADS. That is the most important perk in this entire game. But I run um, Slings and Swivels for that faster draw time. Custom Stock, Extended Mag, and Hipfire on mine. MP28, I'm conflicted with this gun. It's okay. I think the ZK is way better. We'll get to the ZK later, but I run, again, right, right, uh, left, right, right, right. EMP, again, the ZK is better, but EMP is solid if you are playing more at range and you need a gun with light and stock. I run left, right, right, left. You can run right, 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 left. You can even run hipfire spec on this gun if you want, but that's what I run. MP34, don't use it. It's dog shit, unfortunately, even though it's probably the coolest looking medic weapon in the entire game. Um, I mean, just look at that. It's pretty sick looking. But, yeah. If you want to use it, I run right, left, left, left. Tommy gun. Um, here's the thing with the Tommy gun. The Tommy gun gets outclassed by the ZK, in my opinion. So, what you do with the Tommy gun is you make it a unique weapon. And I actually run um, the higher RPM spec on the Tommy gun. Um, left, 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 right is how I run this gun. I really like it. ZK, okay, now we get to pretty much the undisputed king of the medic class, the ZK. It does everything. It has a good rate of fire. It's accurate. It has really bad recoil, which is unfortunate because this game's recoil is random. Haha, <laughs> thanks, nice, really skill-based. Haha, <laughs> yeah, we like that. <clears throat> um, it's just an all-around king. Um, you can run whatever you really want on this, You, but never run... The right side never run except for the last perk you can run this gun left 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 or you can go left 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 right both are good i've used both for an extensive period of time it's up to you do you want quicker reload or do you want faster bullets um jungle carbine insane weapon disgusting i run left 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 right on this it's extremely good type 100 this gun shoots at the same rate of fire as a zk but it does less damage now, that being said, this gun has a higher hit rate at range than the ZK. What I mean by hit rate is you will hit you will definitely hit more shots with the with the Type 100. This gun is extremely good if you're playing at range a little bit more, just like the EMP. Um, I personally use right, 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 left. Freeze gun. I think this is the most difficult weapon in the medic class to use. Um, it is you need extreme accuracy to use this gun it is unforgiving but if you use it correctly it is one of the best guns in the game it is a three hit kill within close quarters um it's very good i personally use right 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 left always go left for the suppressor reduces the noise from firing the weapon but the hidden benefit of the suppressor is it does not give the enemy any hit indicators that means if you shoot somebody they don't know where they're getting shot from which is incredibly strong as you can probably imagine and of course the type 2a if you're a bitch you can use this gun but just know you're a bitch i'm not going to give specs i just showed it right there fuck well you're still a bitch don't use it um all right moving on to support support is i feel like it's really cut and dry what to use in the support class there's really not a lot of variety in here um don't use shotguns you're you're also a bitch if you use shotguns just just period um the bar um Pound for pound, one of the best 1v1 weapons in the entire game. Extremely accurate. Extremely fast rate of fire. Kills super fast. This gun is one of my favorites. Um, I run left, right, right, left. The reason I don't use quick aim is 
I play this gun a little more passively. You can use it aggressively, obviously, which you see me do extensively, but it's, um, you know, it, I don't really have, I don't really feel that I'm hindered by not running quick aim. The reason I'm running quick, quick reload is this gun only has 20 bullets in a magazine. So you're going to be reloading a lot. And I think quick reload is more applicable than quick aim. Um, I run custom stock and light and stock once again, and less horizontal recoil. Horizontal recoil is your enemy in pretty much every single game it's ever been in. So if you can reduce it anyway, that's what you want to do. Um, moving on here, FG42. FG42 is a bar with less recoil, but it shoots slower. It is also one of my favorite guns in the entire game. Use the FG42 if you're playing more at range. But both weapons are insane. I use full right side for the FG42. Once again, custom stock and lightened stock. Um, you can see the synergy here. I don't take quick aim. Don't use a drilling or a bitch. Uh, same with a... Yep. Don't, don't use shotguns, guys. Don't use shotguns. A show shot. It's okay. People, I think, get a little nostalgic. You know, BF1. Oh my god, the show shot's the best! Mm, not really, but it's pretty good. I personally use uh, right, left, left, left. As, well, moving on here to Recon class. Okay, people are going to hate me for this, but unfortunately, the bolt actions in this game just don't stack up to the semi-autos. Now, if you were to use bolt actions, I would use the Krag or the Car 98. Those are my personal preferences. The Gewehrm 95 is also very good. Um, specs are here. Full left side for the Gewehr. Left, right, right, left for the Krag. Where is the Car 98 here? Am I blind? There it is. Then left, right, right, left for the Car 98. Now, people are going to hate me for this, but if you really want to be effective in the Scout class, you're going to use the ZH-29. It's just how it is. It's the most broken gun in the fucking game, in my opinion. It's a two-hit kill across the map. No matter where you hit them. I am astonished every single time um, I think about this gun. And the fact that it hasn't been nerfed throughout the entire lifespan of BF5. Um, I run left, right, right, left. It's insane. What more needs to be said? RSC is kind of... it's a RSC is a ZH-29, but close. it's more close quarters oriented. It shoots a little bit faster. It's still a two hit, but it's not a guaranteed two hit across the map like the ZH. Now, if you want to be a little creative, like I am sometimes on stream, um, by the way, twitch.tv slash Anders, hit the, hit the follow button, you know. Link in the description. Um, <clears throat> I actually whip out the PO8 Carbine. The PO8 Carbine is essentially the Gewehr 1.5 from the Assault class, but a little weaker. It's still nuts, though. Um, this, this weapon can be very effective if used in the right situation. Because, as we all know, the Recon class has a perk called... Uh, where the fuck is it? Sniper... You spot enemies when you shoot them. So this works with the PO8. So if you hit somebody with this gun, they're spotted. It's very strong. Um, I personally run left, right, right, left. Um, another weapon you can try to use that's pretty fun sometimes, but I'll be, I, I prefer the PO8 over the trench. Uh, you can use the trench carbine. This weapon has the unique ability to actually um, go full auto, so you don't have to click. So if you're lazy, you can use this gun. <laughs> uh, I use full right side. It's still good. It's a little weaker than the PO8, though. So that's something to keep in mind. I, I will link all the weapon stats from Symphic um, in the description. So if you guys want to look at detailed weapon stats, um, they'll be in the description. Um, as far as sidearms, I mean, here's the thing. This is really personal preference. I genuinely don't believe this matters a lot. Um, but... I like using the big boy, the Model 27. It's a pocket sniper. You can hit the sick clips with it. You get the one bang headshots. It's, you know, if you're accurate and you know you can hit somebody off a head glitch with this thing, go ahead and use it. Um, other than that, there really isn't, you know, a, a, a one true king of the sidearms department. I would run maybe the M1911 suppressed or the PPK. The um, M1911 and PPK have the same benefit from being suppressed as the grease gun. 
um, where the enemies don't receive damage indicators. So that's something to take into, uh, into consideration. But like I said, you can use whatever you want. The Mark, um, the Mark VI is a... It's not as long range as the Model 27 is for a revolver. So you would use this in a more close range scenario. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, oh, and I guess for melee weapons, um, always I personally always run the higher damage melee weapons. Um, I don't really find much value in a melee weapon that does less damage. Sure, you can hit faster, but I just think the fact that you can hit somebody twice with this and they die is hilarious. So I use the Kukri. And um, I guess I can go over his class specs next. Um, I use light infantry for my assault class. Combat um, field medic for my medic class. The reason I use this is because you sprint faster when calling out to a downed friend in need of a medic. Now, this is kind of toxic, but to be honest, it's kind of funny. Um, what it means by calling out to a downed friend is, you know how you can spot bodies to be revived? This actually gives you a, this makes you sprint faster when you spot a dead body that needs to be revived. So I use this purely for the sprint speed. <laughs> um, then obviously in support machine gunner you, ca you cause more and receive less suppression um, You really the only benefit of this is fully suppressed enemies are spotted for your team so basically if you miss they become spotted that's, that's the benefit of this and then obviously in sniper roll you want to run sniper um, you spot enemies when you shoot them it's extremely strong I honestly can't believe they never changed it it's just broken, to be honest. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe. Like the video as well. Um, my Twitch, my Twitter, my Discord are going to be in the description as well as all my settings. Join the Discord. Receive notifications for when I go live. Follow me on Twitter for that as well. And um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching.